Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared here. So I want to talk about something serious today, uh, the death of Ryan Dunn and why he was an Illuminati sacrifice. I'm going to give you guys reasons as to why this was and uh, who I personally believe called the sacrifice. Now, some people are probably going to get extremely butthurt over what I'm saying, but the simple truth is this kind of stuff happens all the time. Uh, I wish I could say it was rare, but it... it uh, celebrities and people like that get murdered all the time. They have hits on um, by the Illuminati because it's a sick, sick organization that controls Hollywood. And you know, Jackass and Ryan Dunn and all those people, they were at a Hollywood status level. So shit like that was very likely to happen to them. So what happened with Jackass is basically this. Um, they got to a point they reached, like a pinnacle, where they weren't doing as well, I guess, as they thought they could be. And um, when, when you get to that kind of point, then you get desperate and you do things that, you know, you normally wouldn't do. So what happened was basically someone in the Jackass crew actually called a hit, an Illuminati sacrifice, which will give you power. Uh, you can call an, Illumin an, an Illuminati sacrifice if you're doing bad, you know, like if you messed up and um, you know you're being punished by the Illuminati or whatever you can call a hit or if you just you want more fame then you can do that uh, it's a very sick sick thing and it's basically you know uh, demon worship that's what this is man it, it, Hollywood is run by demons uh, read a book by Corey Feldman and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about that guy understood firsthand all the sick things that go on in Hollywood. He was molested along with Corey Haim. Uh, Corey Haim died. I believe he was an Illuminati sacrifice as well. Um, I I really doubt Corey Feldman called the Illuminati sacrifice on him, but um, unfortunately, I don't really know what to say about that. But uh, anyways, yeah, as far as who had Ryan Dunn murdered, Personally, I believe it was Bam Margera. I'll give you guys reasons as to why that is. Uh, number one, Bam Margera pretty much ran the Jackass show. You know, he was he was the number one guy. Everybody thought of his name before anyone else. You know, he was the shot caller. He was he was the big dog. You know, he even had his own little sideshow, Viva La Bam, which I I will admit I was a fan of, and I am a fan of Jackass as well. Um, but yeah, he um, you know. He sacrificed his own friend, which is terrible, terrible, and he's probably going to rot in hell for that. But, you know, it is what it is, you know what I mean? He he made a stupid choice, and he knows he's going to pay for it when he dies, but, you know, that that's what happens. Money and fame will get to your head, and you'll do really stupid things. And, guys, this should show you right here. You know, when you sacrifice your own friend like that, that's just how corrupt money will make you. Money and power is the root of all evil. So... Anyways, uh, yeah, I I believe 99% chance it, it was Bam that card uh, that called this hit. Um, there was a chance, you know, sometimes if you mess up in the industry, if you do something really bad, then you can be murdered. But I don't think Ryan Dunn really did anything. I I never heard of him, you know, speaking out against the Illuminati or doing anything to that extent. So I think that's why he was a sacrifice, um, or th that's why someone called a hit on him. I mean to say. But uh, yeah, there are there are plenty of subliminal messages that show evidence to this being an Illuminati hit. If you watch videos on this, there's all sorts of subliminals, like the signs, where he was murdered, the day of his murder. It all adds up. Um, it, it's, it's it's painfully obvious, and the only people who can't see that are the ones who choose not to. But uh, this was without a doubt a hit, and uh, it's really unfortunate because Ryan Dunn. You know, he was he was young. He was only like 34. He had his whole life ahead of him. And, you know, they, he could have went on to do really great things. But instead, you know, he was killed just so that, you know, Bam Margera and his little fuckboy friends could have more money in their pockets. You know, Steve-O the Satanist, the guy that yelled, fuck God, uh, on a deicide concert, live concert. He was screaming all these obscenities. Uh, the guy's a huge Satanist. He's... Uh, I know that he like worships that one guy, uh, uh, Motorhead. I believe that one, the guy that passed away. I don't know his name, Lemmy or something. Some other Satanist scumbag. Uh, 
And then there's uh, Johnny Knoxville, who's some inbred hick. He probably had sex with his six or, uh, his sisters. And uh, then you have, um, of course, Bam Margera himself, you know, the guy who had his own friend murdered. But um, I'll admit, though, I do like the show and I grew up with it. It's just when you grow up, you can see what kind of scum it really are that you, you know, that you used to idolize. And it's very disheartening. But uh, anyways, yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you there. Um, oh, by the way, that, that phony interview where they interviewed Bam Margera uh, after he supposedly found out about his death, you know, where he's crying uh, like a little baby, you know, where it's obviously just... Okay, number one, if a person recently found out their friend died, I can promise you the last thing they would want to do is an interview. And number two, it was obviously, you know, overly dramatic, staged, fake. Uh, Bam Margera is a scumbag piece of shit. And I know that uh, he, he knew he knew exactly what was going to happen to Ryan. And um, again, that should show you guys just how much money and fame will corrupt you. And look at Bam. Look what happened to him after Ryan Dunn was murdered. He knew he fucked up and he went into a whole alcoholic stupor. You know, just he became a sad, jaded shit because he knows that he is a piece of shit for what he did. He had his own friend, his best friend murdered and his consciousness could not handle that. So now he's just, you know, I heard recently he's doing better. I think he lost some weight and he even got back into skateboarding. Uh, maybe, just maybe, you know, he he realized he messed up and he tried to get himself right with God. Um, there's no, I mean, there's no news on that, that he's like a believer now and that he's, you know, right with God or anything, but, uh, I'd like to think maybe that's what happened. Maybe he did find Jesus Christ and turned his life around, but that's very rare, especially with, you know, Hollywood celebrities. They're all, a lot of them are satanic scum or at least God hating scum. And, uh, you know, Hollywood is very liberal and, uh, they, they are all God haters. You know, there's, no movie would ever be made, you know, um, a Christian movie, you know. I know there was The Passion of the Christ with Mel Gibson, but that was ages ago anyways. The, a movie like that would never, never be aired again, uh, at least not in the theaters. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, it's really sad what happened, but stuff like this goes on all the time. Uh, Prince, I know he was an Illuminati sacrifice. Uh, I know that um, Kurt Cobain, uh, he was an Illuminati sacrifice. Uh, Courtney Love, I know she called the hit. Um, you know, all these people. By the way, Kurt Cobain was 27 years old. So was Janis Joplin. So was J uh, J Jim Morrison. Um, even Amy Winehouse was 27. And they're part of something called the 27 Club. Uh, the Illuminati is obsessed with numerology. Certain numbers mean something to them. I believe a lot of it has satanic origins. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not an expert on that. But uh, yeah, if, if you looked at these videos on Ryan Dunn's death, they, they speak a lot on that. Like even the road he was murdered on has something to do with symbology and the day of his murder. So it's pretty crazy stuff, guys. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I plan to make more videos exposing the Illuminati because I feel like that's what we have to do at this day and age, you know, more so than anything is is expose, you know, the the, the, the corruption and all, all the sick things that go on on this planet. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.